close your eyes and watch your breath. As the breath comes in, think of it sweeping through the whole body, cleaning out any cobwebs of tension you might feel in the back and in the front. Any place you might notice in the body that there's a lot of tension you're holding, just allow it to relax and just breathe right through. Clean it out. Try to clean out your mind as well. Any thoughts that deal with the past and the future for the time being, just put them aside. You just want to be alert and awake right here, right now. Today we're commemorating the passing away of Lung Lungs, who had a lot of was very helpful to our monastery. He was a city monk in Bangkok, and yet he lived a very simple life. He was a Bajatesika. He was the monk in charge of assigning meals and assigning invitations at Wat Makut, which is one of the wealthier monasteries in Bangkok. And yet he never kept anything for himself. There was a period when there was a scandal around a Bajatesika at another monastery, and newspapers started checking on the bank accounts of the different ones throughout the city, and they found that Lung Lung was the, was the poorest of the group. Because whatever he got, he gave to other people. He didn't keep things for himself. He saw that the virtue of generosity was much more valuable than the things that people could amass. And so he was very generous. He lived a very clean life. And so when we commemorate someone who's lived like that, we want to turn around and look at ourselves. Is our life clean? In what ways are we holding on to things that we shouldn't be holding on to? Learn how to let go, let go, let go. Let go of your greed, let go of your aversion, your delusion, let go of your, as I said, the four bases for going off course. We go off course sometimes because we like somebody, we play favorites. Other times it's because we don't like somebody and so we mistreat them. Sometimes we're deluded and fooled by people and sometimes we're afraid. We do things, un -things, excuse me, do things that are unfair because we're afraid of somebody's power. And we have to learn not to let those things take over our minds. Clean those out. Because the most valuable thing we have are our actions. And if our actions are made dirty by things like this, then the results of those actions are not going to be clean either. So make sure that you, when you're acting, make sure that you're trying to be as fair as possible. Because of course you want to be treated fairly by other people, so try to be fair in your dealings with, other, with others as well. So if you see that you're beginning to get biased because you like somebody or you hate somebody, or you're afraid of somebody, step back and ask yourself, what are you going to gain in the long term by following through with that bias? Nothing at all. It's like a person who walks bent over. As you bend over and keep bending over and over time, after a while it gets so you can't walk straight. So try to straighten up your life. Straighten out your life, clean up your life, clean out your mind. Try to be fair in all your dealings with other people. That way we take the goodness of other people and we make it part of our own. This is one of the reasons why we have commemorations like this, is to try to remember there have been good people in the world. We don't, don't want their goodness to die. It's one thing to think about them, but it's, it's even better to imitate them. This is the Buddha, what the Buddha said. This is what admirable friendship is all about. You find admirable friends, but to make it an admirable friendship, you have to imitate their good qualities. You imitate their virtue, their generosity, their conviction, their discernment. That's when the friendship itself becomes admirable, and you become an admirable person as well. So think of all the good people in the past, Lung Lung among them, and all the good things they've done, and see what you can do to maintain their goodness and keep their goodness alive in your own thoughts and words and deeds. And meditation, of course, is one way of helping with this because it gives you the strength to pull back from any unskillful habits you've had. Say, I've got a better alternative here, you can say. I can live my life in line with a mind that's in in line with the Dharma, rather than going off course. And when you stay with the Dharma, that's when you're safe. 